Hello everyone, my name is Koray Tuber Kibir and I am the owner and founder of Holistic SEO and Digital. In this video, we will be focusing on the SaaS SEO and the SaaS SEO Dynamic Strategies case studies or step-by-step -step tutorial also will be given to because there will be another really long article that actually focuses on different aspects of the software as service search engine optimization. There will be two example projects in this specific case study. One of them actually has been already mentioned in one of the case studies that I have already published in terms of lexical semantics or lexical semantics. And after that too, the website actually continued to increase its rankings. But right now we are on the holiday season. That's why there is a little bit, let's say, slight decrease. And to be able to show the actually the prime uh, moment of the website, I have used this type of filtration or filter for timing uh, but it doesn't mean that actually something is broken on the website it continues to rank higher with higher average position and higher CTR but we're on the Christmas uh, Eve so uh, it's normal to have such a change on the traffic and at the same time both of these SaaS SEO projects they are actually low budget projects by saying low budget I mean really low there is not enough level of workforce and at the same time, the SEO culture for both of the projects is not that much advanced too. So that's why I have chosen especially these two projects because this is the situation for many SaaS businesses. Usually SaaS businesses, they know what they do when it comes to their own industry. But when it comes to the digital marketing and search engine optimization, they are not that much advanced and they need actually further help. And that's why for all these results, I can tell you that actually we have performed many, many, many different educations and the trainings. The biggest part for these SEO trainings, I can tell that, as you see, there are many, many different types of rankings and initial rankings for newly published content in these areas. And when, I, when we have started this project, actually, I can tell you that we were taking like 40 or maybe 60 clicks or something like that. I don't remember the exact date or the exact click count but i can tell you that the team they were getting really excited even if we just increase our click count 20. then of course they started to learn the seo further while explaining how the search engines work and at the same time this uh, this uh, project actually it belongs to someone that i i value personally too uh, that's why even if it is a low budget project and even if it requires education or training since they came with a, a reference to me uh, from somewhere else i also published that project actually it is Baba cars uh, but since they came with the reference i valued uh, in a different level on the different level for the project and to be able to teach the client that do not get sad when you actually lose clicks from this level let's say to this level it doesn't show that you're actually doing something wrong because it will be coming back and believe me this repetition here all these higher ranking again and the lower ranking again higher ranking again lower ranking again all these ups and the downs it started to teach them that okay let's not focus on what Google does or what Google updates let's focus on our own purposes based on the search semantic search principles mainly but also let's say holistic SEO approach uh, to be able to rank higher and to be able to read it for any kinds of algorithmic output output because in terms of the algorithmic hierarchy one of the algorithms might might focus on only the first sentences after the heading one more can focus on only the entity entity recognition or entity attribute pairs or predicates that come just after the entities so when you are able to optimize your content for all these possible algorithms or babe, millions of baby algorithms and their outputs then you will be able to increase your ranking chance. At the same time, in uh, I will show other project too. In these two different projects, actually, I can tell you that uh, let's say some some AI also has been used. So it is a human friendly AI. Don't worry, it's not heavy AI that I as I do. But uh, I must also tell you that when you actually publish half million articles with the help of the AI. It's not for conversion, it's not for branding or something. It's ju it just breaks the search engine and it is for actually ads revenue. And with that said, I can definitely tell you that the main disadvantage of the Microsoft Bing or the other search engines compared to Google is lack of data, not the lack of quality algorithms or best skilled engineers. Which means that actually in near future, thanks to better algorithms, data science and the machine learning and the neural networks, most probably Google will start to lose their advantage and since they are actually using machine learning heavily or the AI systems 
rather than rule-based system as Amit Single suggested, they will be having really hard time and their machine learning systems it makes me angry. Why? Because they rank we or you, or us or you, higher in one update and they tell that okay it is because of EAT. Then another update they destroy the website by telling that it's not trustworthy anymore. So it doesn't make sense that much because they even don't know, to be honest, what they are doing. If you just catch a Google engineer, probably they won't be telling something if they tell even a slightest thing related to the Google uh, search quality assessments. Probably they will be fired, but uh, they can't get what they are doing when you are dealing with 1.5 billion of lines of code and millions of baby algorithms or hundreds of millions of bugs. So yes, this is my motto actually for Google. They tell that we have bi millions of babe algorithms i tell them that you have billions of bugs so when it comes to the ai usage in 2023 i will be also explaining that why topical authority methodology and semantic seo strategies that i have created and the concepts that i also i have invented why it is better than the uh, ai automation because you can't create articles as as you can create in my algorithmic authorship rule set. I already explained and have proven it to the beta testers. They also know uh, it very well. And there is no AI model that we can train on them. Because that's why I'm telling that there is no automation. When I publish the testimonials, you will see that because there is not enough, not enough data to train something like that. It is also uh, why I am thinking that AI can't replace SEOs because to be able to have a really good AI as an SEO consultant, you have to train the AI with the SEO related data. But when you look at the web, most of the highest ranking web pages or the websites for SEO, they are ranking there, not because of their, their true expertise. They are there because of the page rank, high level of page rank and the brand value. So that's why the true expertise for SEO consultants, it will continue to protect its value. That's why whatever I tell here, I believe it will be helping you in the future as well. And one more thing is that AI will make everything lazier, like no, none of us lazy enough. <laughs> so that's why if you are a hardworking person that reads all the details for NLP or the semantics, do not get scared. This is an opportunity moment for you. So that's why when I tell that actually we have focused on rare rankings, initial rankings, with a low intensity project here it is yes we have used ai here but not heavily we have focused on expertise and the uniqueness and there are certain ways to actually make ai output better with algorithmic authorship rules and after the first launch of the course there will be other courses that will be following that so you will be able to actually learn these other details better and you'll be helping each other in the community that i am creating with that said, for the holiday season, I have published this. I told that a rank, as a ranking tip or ranking analysis tip, during the holiday seasons with lowered search demand, you can see that high page rank pages protect their rankings better than the low page rank ones. Link independent ranking algorithms need user behaviors more than the link dependent ones. You can actually differentiate al ranking algorithms from each other as query dependent, query independent, link dependent, link independent and also the let's say context dependent and context independent the context independency actually means that in involves their user agents devices locations or the time of the day as well not just the query context in this case because we involve query related things inside the query dependent ranking algorithms and i have written all these things in my case study for of google ranks or initial ranking and re ranking uh, case study that's why when i tell actually let's say when I tell <coughs> topical author that I just don't mean cover everything, you need to understand all these things. That's why I also lately I started to tell that my concept of topical author is very much different than what others tell. And usually people just get the easiest thing to get there, like focus on information gap, focus on uniqueness, focus on unique engrams or process all queries, even if they have a zero search volume. So I am even glad that they were able to get these three, four simple things, but there are very much more things there and it's the purpose of the, all these videos is a pre-training free for everyone and some of you told me that this is already a course so thank you for thinking in that way yes actually this is a free training for all the industry so that we can be ready to communicate on another level so these are the results here and i will be explaining how we get uh, these results with maybe just one author and <clears throat> also that author does other things too so 
it's like uh, as I say I have chosen this especially because all of you will be creating new SaaS projects in the future thanks to AI and you need to understand uh, how you can actually leverage all these things as let's say with the lack of the workforce at the same time so the, this project here, it is actually a next generation firewall project which focuses on the network security. It is a really niche area and that's why my latest video here actually is about the B2B SEO case study and it, it is followed by SaaS SEO case study because every SaaS project they roll the business even if they sell things to the consumers but sometimes the consumers are also business owners. So that's why this case study here actually it is at the middle. It's direct to consumer but also B2B too. And in this case study, I will be mentioning many new patterns. But if you see that uh, I am mentioning slightly similar things to the previous B2B SEO case study project, it is because some patterns, they are multi-hierarchical patterns. It means that they actually focus on other layers of the search too. That's why I will be focusing on them slightly. This is one of them, but I will suggest you to watch this video. The query semantics, it will be mentioned in this project too. If you want to understand query semantics here, I will suggest you to check this area a little bit further too because there are pilot projects here that I, that I used for explaining further uh, semantics, whether it is about query semantics, whether it's about actually query, or this is actually coming from Microsoft Bing, but let's say the, uh, the, the search demand effect uh, for the query meaning, or let's say how search engines actually understand whether you have discordant phrases in your document based on the query contexts, etc. So if I just return this area, these are the initial results. There are many initial and the ranking events here. As you see, we increase traffic, we happy, then we lose it and we are sad. And it's not the way of actually thinking in SEO. Do not get sad, do not get feel happy when you increase or when you increase traffic or the traffic is decreased do not feel nothing just focus on your purposes and continue in that way as much as possible at the same time you will realize that our our average position is low and on this project we didn't use links so it means that actually if there is a ranking event most probably uh, it will be helpful for increasing this amount of clicks to the maybe even 7000 clicks a day but it can happen if Google is able to actually uh, create a proper link spam uh, update or link spam detection systems uh, compared to the, our first competitors. But this is already an established authority for its own network security concepts. But there are many gaps still inside the topical map because while managing an agency, it's not that easy to focus on every teeny tiny details as I usually do for especially prioritized projects. And this is the sec sorry, this is the image search section. Uh, as you see, usually when you are able to rank your landing pages higher, the image map packs they are also chosen from the highest ranking pages too. And image results or image, uh, let's say, uh, <coughs> image search performance it increases too. And the impression amount here is really good, like two millions is uh, nearly 10 percent of the total impressions in this area but also it means that if you are able to use actual infographics or engaging images here not just expressive images but engaging image that it means that actually involves certain types of information directly inside the image and expressive image it means that actually they just ex express the context or the central objects for the topic but when it comes to the uh, engaging image it is readable or it is clickable or it is uh, examinable uh, let's say and it will be very much better for these type of projects use infographics use definitions or definitive texts or components or let's say arrows explanations or bullet points inside the images too to make them more even contextually relevant to your topic this is the second one which is a smaller project in this area again really a small project i can tell and here we are actually this is about sms marketing mainly and we use we are just automate sms's for churches from churches to do politicians to do anything basically both of these projects they actually target a teeny tiny uh, market target market so it means that they actually don't need that much traffic too but when you have traffic too it is easier to actually prove that you are trustworthy that's why popularity is also important and thanks to the increased traffic we were able to create direct traffic we were able to create also brand search demand and these two things are really important in SaaS SEO make your products searched make your brand 
searched and create direct traffic if people directly search for your name search for your products and if they directly come to your website by clicking it it is a signal for authority and the quality and to be able to create it you will need to cover your entire topical map or neural net with certain types of contextual hierarchies and the contextual domain connections by asking ever related questions and uh, with the proper order and also answering them with the unique value or the unique information and there are a few three concepts here that I will need to mention you. When it comes to actual ranking for the SaaS SEO, focus on three things. One is information responsiveness, again a concept that I invented. The other one, information density, another a concept that I actually I invented. The third one is actually less a responsiveness uh, and also density and also I wouldn't say directly the unique, but uh, let's say quality of the information we can also involve that uh, in that area too but when we say the quality you should also include the unique value inside the information or the unique expression for the specifically valuable information information responsiveness means that the information that you are giving it should match with the query context and it should be responsive to the query relevance is outside of the responsiveness you can be relevant but you might not be responsive you have to be responsive with less word that's why you need to increase the information density and that's why the information that you are giving it should be quality which means it should be unique even if it is not unique use a unique expression there you can create different attributes or different phrasifications to show your own aspect there and while doing that you can't also go that much far away from the established authorities so i have already spent 16 minutes let's move on to this part then i will be showing you this article with the other types of uh, graphics and also explanations for let's say how you can make your brand more searchable or how you can actually leverage other search engines how you can leverage social media and how you can actually examine the data or connect yourself to the users with different products or product aspects with that said here actually i have published uh, a few more things you remember this website uh, one of a client that i have uh, trained and really good people i really love them and they created this rum right now actually in two months nearly two months we have exceeded the one million clicks and it is a good news for you too because you will be creating these things with the semantic content networks and here i explain the positive ranking state again and i also want to i want to also mention the pavel here he's a really good guy you can also reach out to, you reach out to him he really do, does really good amount of researches and usually I don't accept the info in international visitors especially uh, before uh, the course launch I'm but I'm really happy to uh, have you here uh, he will be a really good valuable uh, he is already a good valuable SEO but inside the community that we will create and I believe he will be really a perfect match there and I am really happy to have, have uh, him here and with that said let's move on to do this part so this is Ahrefs, but as you see, the actual traffic is made much higher than what Ahrefs shows in this area. And the query count is actually higher uh, as well. And this is the Juke SMS, and this one's traffic too, it is higher than what actually this SEMrush shows. I usually take these things randomly, I don't care that much. And I will skip this one too, to be honest. And in this case, uh, we will be starting from actually this part. So diminishing reviews of the places. You can tell me that why you are starting from actually local as your local search related things because we are ranking a business here. Every SaaS company, they are actually a business, which means that you will need to have a local address. You will need a founder, owner, manager, staff or researcher or certain types of reviews about your products or product or your technology there. And diminishing review here, it is a really good concept because it is about food traffic. So this person here, let's say Mofu Shop, Mofu or someone, someone, let's say he came, he, he goes to a, a place, and two months ago this has been written. Let's say the same person didn't go to the actually same workplace again, which means that that review will be diminished. It won't be. It won't have any more that much weight if the same person doesn't go a similar business again or if the same person doesn't review a similar business again because this person here he is actually an author author for a comment when I have written about the author authority and author as topical authority we also have the author authority 
And when I talk about the author authority, you usually focus on the author of the blog post, but also we have authors for reviews. And also this person is a reviewer and he has a rating app before certain amount of time. And also he is using certain, certain types of sentimental words in this area. So this is a positive review and the, this positive review verse here, it matches the, this rating as well. And we also have the word taste here, which means that actually most probably it is a restaurant or something. But anyway, when we look at the situation like that, if the person doesn't go to the same place again, if Google realizes that, they can actually give less weight to these type of things, which means that actually if you are able to keep yourself popular all day, all month, all quarter or all year among the certain certain type of audience if they because as I say Google always clusters the users once the Google clusters the users it means that actually if certain types of user clusters if they continue to search about you it will be easier for them to actually realize uh, that it will be easier for them to realize that you are one of the authorities this is actually a new uh, privacy sandbox of the Google because when lately I can tell you that uh, it will be harder for Google to actually track your location history since it will be harder. And like right now, Google is actually lobbying against the federal government to uh, prevent the federal government to legalize a new act because the federal government wants to actually block any kinds of big tech to follow you, your personal information, which also involves where you are. That's why uh, Google always actually tries to take your location history as much as possible so that they can understand where you are going and your visit visit frequency or visit. There is also something called visit intent and also visit satisfaction, even visiting time investment. These concepts, they are coming from local search. And in this case, if no one visits your business, if no one searches for your business, if even if they search for your business, if they don't click it, if they go to do another uh, brand from your brand SERP, in this case, it will be dangerous for your for your situation. So that's why they actually try these type of topic related or topic topic based uh, audience uh, audience clustering methodologies to understand who is actually going where uh, basically. So the the this is the ba basic logic of this specific. Uh, invention and inside this uh, invention you will realize something like a few important things from Google's point of view even if a user actually has left satisfaction signals or satisfied behaviors for your specific business which means that you will need to repeat it again because satisfying a certain amount of people only for two weeks is not in good enough for Google to earn their trust that's why you see that actually same article here, it ranks higher, even if there is no links point are pointed to that. Whenever we cover more things in a better way, older articles continue to rank higher too, because we earn the trust of the search engine, which is something that I explained in my YouTube channel again by saying search engine trust. The same thing also ha happened actually in this specific case study too. Uh, I will suggest you to check like this search engine trust and historical data even if we didn't publish new thing a same article rank very much higher thank, thanks to a trending event and that case it also explains how you can use trending events as well so i can close these two and i will suggest you to check this section and try to Im integrate this visit or visit quality and the diminished review concept to the, your SaaS industry in terms of clicks, click intense, click satisfaction, or let's say satisfied users session frequency as well. When it comes to this one here, uh, we have actually one important from Dean Kenneth Jackson, but let me check whether I will be able to find it quickly. I don't know. Oop. Is no, not content restriction. Not restriction. Rule based optimization of object displays on user interface. Sounds interesting, but it's not that too. So, this is point of interest latency protection using mobile device location. It is about local, but not this. I guess I won't be able to find that specific patent. Because usually I check the inventions based on the inventors. I will suggest you to do the same thing as much as possible. As you see, there are four pages of uh, inventions from this specific inventor uh, all day 
all day long and usually a sign is Google in these areas especially when it comes to the search so you can also understand how Google is strict because same person gets some patents for himself but whenever the topic is about search or search engines it directly goes to Google Inc or Google LLC basically it will be easier for you to also check it you can find it maybe later or maybe I can mention it uh, later sorry it's one of them is already here actually user location history implies diminished review which is the one that I mentioned in this area but there is one more which is connected to that specific one I will suggest you to check it uh, a little bit later you can also understand how certain types of inventors focus on certain types of things continuously while working for Google you can also check their LinkedIn accounts to complete these data one more thing here is uh, I would like to mention a, a kind of or explain a, 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 a memoir from Bill Slavsky because here he explains importance of listening because when I explain these things if you don't list on me carefully you won't be able to get the essence of the SEO and it comes to this specific memoir here actually dear Bill he explains how the big deal a toy became a one of the most popular toys in, in the United States and he also explains what he experienced actually when he he and him and his family migrated from New Jersey to Ohio the main thing here is that when they went to the Midwest people were actually talking differently and they believe in the different things or their trust systems or behaviors or judgments are different and here actually Bill learned a lot from these type of changes and he understood the value of the listening and then he explains how his father was able to be more successful thanks to these journeys and by knowing different types of people from different types of backgrounds especially when you actually approach the SEO in the same way when you are able to list on the search engine and the search engine engineers and the inventors you will realize that their communication style is pretty open so that's why if people around you are talking slower or if they are if they express things differently they shouldn't frighten you it should just be seen as a new opportunity to improve your let's say neural nets inside your brain so approach this new understanding of SEO in the same way listen uh, these patterns inventors engineers and the all this historical uh, amount, historical information in this area it will be really useful for you another section here that I would like to actually mention is dialogue systems because at the beginning of this article I mentioned the chat GPT and AI and some other sections and once as I said before too Bill told me that the main problem with human communication is that humans they don't have a structured disciplined mind if you check the article that I have written for or remembering or let's say uh, memorizing Bill Slavsky in a good way when you check that article you will realize that one of the sections that I actually mention is the structured and disciplined mindset even if you don't if you don't have such a mindset you won't be able to use even the chat or dialogue systems properly too because when you change the context AI will be changing context too that's why we will be focusing on prompt engineering whoever gives a better prompt to the AI systems they will be able to actually have better outputs and since the people will be lazier they won't bother themselves to think further so most people that I know unfortunately I have to tell that but most people have lazy minds and dialogue systems it is hard to create it's hard to sustain because since people always jump from a context to another since they are also biased since they also don't think in a structured way since they don't encapsulate the context on that matter since they just touch other things by saying what about this what about that and since everyone's perception map is already really blurry dialogue systems are really important to actually talk to the AI and understand how a machine actually is constructed and how actually semantically it is uh, created based on the linguistic rules and the thought how what kinds of a thought stream appears there I mentioned these things under the context of search search engine optimization and also SAS SEO context because when you are creating this type of knowledge graphs for yourself you will need to go beyond what already appears on the SERP you don't sh you shall not repeat what you see on the SERP you should and you have to go beyond what what is already there and to be able to do that it will be really useful for you to understand question answering systems and from human to computer dialogue this is what actually ChatGPT is already it is a human to computer dialogue 
And these question answering systems in the, in the form of dialogue, there are many different types of tasks here, like identifying, noting, classifying, providing, seeing, blah, blah, blah. And when you are able to realize these steps, it will be also helpful for you to actually create a better knowledge graph or to be able to actually parse the queries better or answer questions in a, in a richer way too. You will be able to realize that what kinds of contextual domains and knowledge domains, which are different things. And also contextual layers appears in this area, how they can hierarchically actually uh, can, be put together, can put together and what will be the macro context there, what will be the micro context or side context in that area or adjusted context will be there. So after that, you'll be able to understand and structure your own knowledge graph in a better way too, because these things already uh, appear inside the Google voice search. Imagine that you will get actually a, a voice based uh, dialogue system AI in the future. It will be, it will be a bit problematic on this age, I know, but uh, not for SEOs, don't worry, but for psychology of the people. Because uh, anyway, we can talk about these things in the future for protecting many, many, many insanity of many people, let's say. And basically, if you are able to check these systems in this area, it will be easier for you to understand what kinds of constraints actually the these systems have. And this is a really long article, and I already bookmarked it like maybe years ago. And Bill already actually explained many things in this area. It will be really good for you understand what is a strong answer or how this course actually can be modified or let's say what are the additional activities or the initial activities on these sections it will be useful to get so this section uh, sorry i guess i changed the order of the tabs okay so this one here system and methods for correlating business information to determine the spam as you know this is that one here same patent in this area but this time i will be explaining a few new se new sections here so to be able to help search engines to correlate or corroborate information about your business you will need to create information points information point is a concept again that i invented basically you you leave all your traces all your all the consistent information about you to answer certain types of questions important part here is that however your answer format changes the question that can be generated from that answer and the query that can be connected to that question will be changing if you are able to overlap but at the same time slightly change these answers questions and queries that can be connected to each other in terms of a proper contextual map you will be able to actually consistently and with high level of velocity you will be able to educate the search engine for defining yourself as a trustworthy source Actually, this is what the about this source panel uh, what does. At the same time, right now, we have a new search engine result page feature, which is again called about this source. When you search for Facebook, they give about, about Facebook carousel. They give the news or they give the reviews about the brand. Uh, so in the future, actually, all these information points that define you on certain contexts or in certain directions and the sentiments, they will be really sticky for your business. And all this corroboration there, it's actually an important part that Google actually tries to do for a really, really long time. And when it comes to this one here, as, is, as I say, I don't say the same thing uh, usually or let's say as much as possible two times, but this time I focused on different contexts of the same patent. As I said, it, it has multiple hierarchies there in terms of context. The quality of the locations based on the travel time investment. I mentioned the travel time investment before too, because for instance, both of these SaaS projects in this area, they are actually, uh, they serve, they are international and also they are multi-regional websites in terms of target market, which means that you will need to use multiple addresses physically so that you can be associated with these areas. When I have written actually multilingual SEO case study, this one here, actually, for this website, we had 46 languages. The first impression that we got, it came from Luxembourg because we got a Luxembourg address at the footer. It was the business address from search engine point of view. And as a hint for you, the search engine communication, it is a little bit blurry. But when it comes to a website that you publish the first time, you will get a clear communication and a clear and high level of confidence judgment from the search engine algorithms. It's like they are giving 
every kinds of signal directly without that much possibility because first thing that they do for a brand new domain or website it is actually the first thing that they prefer which means that the future address represents the business address and business name comes from domain name and in this case the first local association kind came from that and the first impression came from luxembourg because of that even the average position was higher than that. even if you have 46 languages the smallest country area the, the website suddenly focused on there because there wasn't enough data from uh, for search engine to understand where the real business is or the, where the real targeted audience are or is in this case actually this travel time investment again as i say from local search to the sans seo we integrate these things try to understand what kinds of an address you have and where is your audience if your address is somewhere else but your audience is another country it's a little bit problematic which means that you will need local local relevance there as topical relevance and to be able to create this local relevance and local authority you will need to focus on that region that social network or you will need to create historical data from that region as much as possible i have seen even cases that just because we use a romanian ip address we suddenly the brand name was different and i say Vava, but apparently there is a word in romanian language something close to closer to vava or something and search engine suddenly related the brand name to the a romanian word we started rank there while taking really high level of impression but it wasn't relevant there it wasn't the purpose but there are these type of millions of baby algorithms as i say and you can suddenly start communicating with that algorithm that's why seo is game of possibilities and that's why i believe that seo consultants they are actually business consultants with great talents and skills and really really actually detailed minds so we have to actually leverage all these skills in the future because i wouldn't like to see seos as just seos that are asked their opinions when it comes to just rankings we should be able to also give decision uh, business sorry business decisions as well uh, i'm a little tired uh, sorry for that but it will be really a better uh, evaluation for that so when it comes to this one i believe this one was related to maybe no this is about title based local search rankings so this is important because in your titles usually we when we write the titles everyone writes the titles for that page but no one cares about the aggregation of every title of every page so let's say there is something that i call site wide engrams another concept that i invented but if you're able to use site wide engrams or let's say if you're able to use certain types of locations or topics directly inside your title repeatedly and overlapping it means that yes that page might be relevant more to something else but overall collection of these pages they are relevant to those certain types of things which helps search engines to actually prioritize certain types of sources for certain types of locations or certain types of contexts or the profiles or the documents when it comes to the context or the profiles we will be seeing these things as well but and when, I, when we say the profile we actually mean different contexts of the query when we say the listing we mean actually the business in this case and I will suggest you to read this specific uh, patent in this area too. It will be really uh, actually useful to get how these things can be actually uh, prioritized because there is something that we call uh, local search justification. Local search justification means that when you search for, let's say, hair transplant turkey, sometimes you will see that at somewhere it says uh, this business mentions this word in their website. If they tell this, it means that actually they are also ranking the website, then they are ranking the business, and they get the aggregation of all these total relevance. And the titles there, titles of the businesses and also the web pages, it, in this case, it helps them to trust uh, to this context because location name and also the topic name, they appear in the queries and also they repeatedly appear every page that you have inside your website, sidewide. It helps them to relate these things and SaaS technologies, you can always... Our SaaS businesses always can actually leverage these mindsets. When it comes to the here, category suggestions relating to a search, this is actually about directed the profiles. As I mentioned, if I can show you an example, but all these images are different. So basically here actually, we directly uh, suggest a category for a specific search term. And we try to also give categories to the specific documents then we try to actually match the categories to the queries so soon probably i will be uh, talking with someone that invented a few things about google 
uh, what the thing that is invented it is pretty close to the, what I have seen in the patterns. But imagine that when we talk about the search intent, even the SEO tools are really shallow. So if you just tell that there are three main search intents like informational, navigational, or transactional and commercial, etc. It's really shallow. And this is coming from Andre Broder. It's like 15 years of uh, research, taxonomy of search. It's really good paper, actually. I have it some in my third desk. But my point here is that these fundamental researchers, they are just the beginning. We should go beyond that. Today, for proving that your language or large language model works properly, there are 2,000 different language tasks. These 2,000 different language tasks might be writing code, refactoring code, or taking a programming language code and turning into the another programming language code, or code to text, text to code, text to data, data to text, or longer text, formal text, or shorter text, or more sentimental text, or taking the text and repeating the sentiment, or reversing the sentiment there. So if there are 2000 language tasks in different NLP benchmarks, we have to understand that probably the total search intent count is very much higher, which means that the categories and the labels that can be used for queries, documents, it is very much more. And this pattern actually here is about that. That's why when you actually look at the SERP, try to look at all the pages, not just the top three. Take all the possible categories for all of them and not just for first 10 also, get first 100, get all of it as much as possible, all categories, all labels, or pro all profiles. Once you get that, you will be able to create a better information graph on your website. And this actually, this specific patent, it helps to get these specific points because here they explain what kinds of categories exist for different locations or different types of uh, places, let's say. For example, here they say the clothing and accessories category, for example, is shown in including several subcategories, accessories, appear, apparel brokers, clothing stores, and wholesale or manufacturers and subcategories, again, boutiques, children's clothing and maternity clothing and women clothing. Again, this is what you actually have seen as the search refinement based on the user inputs. But there are many things here that you can use in terms of lexical, lexical semantics, because if you have, let's say, child clothing, you will have also maternity clothing or woman clothing. If you're a woman, you will also get the male clothing again. And you will need to create a taxonomy there again and all different search intents will be there whether we manufacture the cloth whether we wear the cloth sell the cloth buy the cloth or review the cloth design the cloth any kinds of predicate there will be getting or taking another context uh, and the search intent possible search intent in this case this is what we call the profile and this pattern here or invention here is about actually relevance ordered categories information and these two are connected to each other in terms of context and here we have different different let's say uh, context for the same entity which is the Starbucks let's say or different profiles and we get all the possible entities for all of them and then we try to actually order these things according to the possible user behaviors and the relevance of these things and location in the query, yeah, let's say no, then we do different thing by giving a default location for the search. If it is yes, then we do something else. In this case, for different types of, let's say, uh, context or different types of, <coughs> uh, also the topics or the categor topic categories at the same time. This is something that I also mentioned in this area because when I search for electricity, SEOs, we usually just focus on these first three. You have to focus on all these verticals of search you have to also focus on all these dynamic serving of content uh, profiles, basically. But when you, if it doesn't appear, just get all the all of these two. You will need to include all of these things as well to be able to create a proper hierarchy of information in this case. So if I come this one, keywords associated with the document categories in this section. So again, we have categories, but this time we have keywords also that are. So basically, you there is a category you connect the document there, you also connect query there too. This is a different approach for information retrieval because we focus, we put the category to the center basically. It will be helpful to understand what kinds of actual categories can exist there and what are the, let's say, the main categories or subcategories for these documents. And do not think directly by telling that, okay, this is an e-commerce, let's say, and there will be a subcategory for e-commerce context, let's say, but it is beyond that. It, 
it might be just shipment of that product it might be producing of that product or it might be just examining of that specific product so if you read these you can see how detailed actually they think and also understand these things for instance here let's say implementation is described here in this is a standard beginning but provide a system for generating keywords associated with document categories for example as shown figure one a system for generating keywords associated with the document categories may determine keyword candidates from a corpus of the documents in one implement keyword candidates may be words or phrases used in the previous search queries and may be found in the documents associated with particular document information before in my presentations i mentioned what synthetic queries are search engines don't wait for you to type in the query they generate the queries they score the queries main point here is that if a top 10 ranking documents change it means that actually the keyword candidates will be changing which means that the categories will slightly change again so you will need to calculate all these possibilities and you will need to be ready with your website and with your documents by covering everything even if the categories or order of these queries change you always have to stay relevant and let's say also uh, responsive at the same time and here you can see many different categories a category as the term is used here in is to broadly interpret to include many several in fundamental and distinct classes to which concepts belong a category may include for example art related categories literature movie movies music business related categories arts entertainment business service industry goods and services etc there are many subsections and again the subsections which brings us to actually top topics update of the google but we can go it go that section later but remember that do not think as shallow as yours as i say importance of listening is really really important as bill mentioned in this area in this invention we put the category to the center we determine query context we connect query to the category we connect document to category if the ranking documents change candidate queries change then the category understanding or category association or distance between categories it changes again too and there are different profiles and the context here as we show and you will need to cover all of them and SaaS businesses also should be doing the same thing in this case so uh, in this part this is one of the things that actually i tell why the chat gpt can't replace us or the seos because these type of websites as you see or this type of information you won't be able to find them on the top ranking websites and that's why this is one of the uh, examples for, for proving that point because AI, ai systems they are being trained on the data on the web which means if the data on the web is not quality enough or repetitive on certain level or certain direction your true expertise can't be reflected on there so here I, want, I would like to read something about expired domains when it comes to SaaS SEO because many SaaS businesses use expired domain and here John Miller says from 2016 sometimes we recognize that a new site is completely unrelated to an old site for example if you go out and buy an old domain name it might have been a church website for 10 years if you recognize your new website is really not new as not the same as it was then we need to understand the difference and say that these links links they apply to the old website but they don't apply to the new one if you use an expired domain for any kinds of project please create a topical and local relevance and protect the identity of the previous business in your specifically expired domain so this is one of the errors that many uh, expired domain buyers also do and at the same time to be able to get the full benefit of the expired domain try to also focus on these business profiles category or keyword categories imagine that your the previous keywords that that old business ranked they are pretty different from what you are trying to rank and if the keyword category is let's say i i actually don't tell keyword it, it happened because of the pattern but let's say the query categories are different and at the same time let's assume that document categories are different compared to the old website in this case anchor tags or phrases inside the anchor tags and the context of that uh, previous linking domains it will be discordant it will be distant from what you are trying to achieve there at the beginning they might actually believe but after a point they can start to decrease the rankings and usually i have seen projects that actually exceed these type of things by linking from old context websites and new context websites at the same time or sometimes they redirect to rent the expired domain suddenly and google algorithm is broken again but uh, i haven't even seen once 
half thousand expired domains are redirected directly and it was pretty successful so if algorithm is too complicated go beyond that half thousand expired domain or half million documents with ai it will be take it will take really good amount of time for them to understand the things there sorry for talking about this but it's the fact so this one here, uh, then we will go to the article quickly. And here we talk about actually product classification and also let's say the product lines. As you remember, I said that for the SaaS SEO and ranking for the SaaS businesses, uh, we have to create products. You can't directly go for SaaS name. You have to create different products there. For instance, when it comes to the SaaS SEO SaaS businesses, we have uh, Keyword Explorer, Content Explorer, Site Audit, Batch Analysis, and people use also possess possessive words like X businesses or X brands Y tool, X brands Z tool, or new update for X tool, or data update for X, blah, blah. Whenever we have these departments or new products, or whenever we create a kind of product line, basically, and whenever they are being searched, and whenever they are actually registered to the Google's own knowledge graph or product graph that has belonged to you, it means that actually you are a really good business and you are authority for this specific industry. And here for product classification, which is the main topic of this uh, invention is actually understanding which product comes after what product or where they are basically coming or from which brand they are coming. But still, for SaaS businesses too, if you don't have any kinds of query for your products or if, you, if your products are not well known, it's an issue. You have to define these products too. I check many, many SaaS businesses about page. They don't even involve, in, include their products there. And if you read this specific invention here, you will understand retailers, manufacturers, resellers, or service providers, or auction size, all these specific types of contacts or source contacts can actually lead new type of patterns for queries and how they can actually be classified together. It will be really beneficial for you to use these things in your SaaS businesses. But as I say, always create new products and continue to update your product line. If you are a software or if you have an API, update it, give a version that. Do not just uh, tell that we updated this, this, this. Tell that this is X product version 2.0, 2.1, 2.2. Continue with that, create a kind of line there and make these things being searched or uh, bring, make people bookmark these things, etc. So when it comes to the, this one here, this is actually, uh, again, it's a, bit, a little bit about, actually, this one is actually relevant to these uh, query categories and also the query profiles, because here we try to create a kind of hierarchical taxonomy. So as I said before, we have seen child clothing, male clothing, woman clothing, maternity clothing, or other types of clothing, but which one comes where? And it means that we want to create a taxonomy there, here. In this case, they try to create a decision tree actually here to understand what kinds of classifications we, we can use and what is the parent of this classification and what can come after what or before, before that. And here, when you see the actually this, it's important to... The SIGR is an important organization, or this is also an important organization to check these things for information retrieval. And if you focus on this specific research uh, and also the invention, you will be able to understand actually what kinds of query categories or classifications exist there. And you can use these things in, inside your topical map for creating a topical authority. Because according to, the, according to the, this taxonomy, you can affect how the search, en search engines previous taxonomy that you can actually add new specific refinements or let's say uh, verticals or horizontals for the specific uh, perception, perception map of the search engine directly. So uh, due to the time, I will actually continue uh, to the next ones. But if I just show you a few sections here, I am trying to find. I know that I scrolled up and... I guess but I believe this will be useful better. Let me just read this section. A manual reviewer classify, class, classifies the document, let's say, by tagging with the correct label. And the document is used as, let's say, golden data, a document with high classification confidence level in the 
next iteration of training process. Accordingly, operation of the classifier may be gradually adjusted over time based on manual classification of low confidence documents. So basically, when we create these type of these specific, let's say, uh, classifications, we can use actually a supervised uh, learning model or we can repeat these things, which also explains sometimes why you see that certain types of websites start to rank higher suddenly, why the certain types of them certain types of other websites actually start to lose the traffic too. Maybe labels changed, maybe categories changed, maybe the taxonomy changed and you didn't actually focus on the another type of taxonomy there. The, and in this case, let's say uh, we have a statement like my laptop would not boot, my wireless keyboard does not seem to work, I can't access my advertising account and color prints from my printer are getting small. And whenever we have these type of, let's say, sentences, Imagine that the context or the objects or all of the specific taxonomies change. For instance, when we say wireless keyboard, we have a keyboard and we focus on its functionalities or the repairing the keyboard, but it's a wireless one. And in this case, actually, you will need to eliminate many things. But if there is not a good candidate document for, for wireless keyboard, you can bring another one from another place. If it also shows the success, then you can actually use the same label or the category or the tag for wireless keyboard or keyboard with the wire at the same time and this manual classification or low or high level of confidence it actually explains these type of sec these type of possibilities and this is about actually reviews that's why i brought that this one here too because we talk about reputation management in this section and let's say actually let me just bring this here because in my previous video for sas seo sorry for b2b seo I explained that there, there were first user, second user, first query, second query, or first user behavior, second user behavior, and that we will need to get a kind of aggregation. And let's say there is a first rater here, and then it reviews something, then the second review, then the third review. And imagine that we put all these things into the, a kind of co-occurrence matrix, like the rating one, or rater one, and the review one. And we see certain types of words appear together and then we get a kind of, let's say, direct graph based on these specific types of reviews. We create a matrix, as you see here. And once we create this matrix, then we create a kind of reputation function. We create an initial reputation vector. The vector here means that actually, this actually, unification of these ones and zeros or unification of these things, something like this, something like this, etc. Any vector that we create in this area, they will be actually evaluated with different types of iterations. Then you will be getting actually a kind of reputation score for your own business. We can call it score or we can call it actually order or we can call it degree. It changes from actually invention to invention. But you need to understand that any review that you write or any review that is written for you, as I mentioned in corroborating corroborating information for your business section in, in this area or this area, uh, somewhere here, let's say. Whenever we focus on these type of uh, specific parts, actually, it will be explaining, it will be directly explaining, actually, uh, what is the direction of the reviews when it comes to the specifically your business, uh, I can tell. So in this case, create information points about your business and associate your brand, especially with certain types of concepts. Let's say we have your brand name here and try to include your topically relevant words around you. Whenever you go for a digital PR campaign, when you mention your brand name, also involve certain types of adjectives or certain types of topically relevant words around you. If distributionally and also statistically, if search engine is able to realize that, these concepts from third party sources appear together with this brand and they have these products and these products appear certain types of queries and they are they have a line and usually we have a direct traffic and the people search for the brand directly and whenever they go together in this case if we are able to create a certain types of let's say positive reviews about us and positive reputation and also information points if they are consistent and if there is a velocity or new information points too, then you will be able to appear in the actually auto suggestions, then you will be able to appear in the related search terms, then you will be related to the, your competitors, especially the biggest ones, then you will rank together with them as well. And verifying labels for images using image recognition. This is actually for image search, but I would like to show you again its relevance to the local businesses. 
because in previous video for B2B SEO, I actually showed immersive search or map search at some place. It was explaining how we can use the phone cameras for local search. And this is what it is too. We give an image for a location, then the search engine gets a description label and a recognized label like university, cafe, building, window, door, sign, street, with a person. The recognized labels, they label the objects. The descriptor labels, they directly actually tries to label the place with certain types of entities. And when it comes to the MUM algorithm of Google, basically, it creates stories from the images by labeling every object and also creating associations and relations from them, which means it is able to create or generate text from the expressions of the images. It, also, it is also a necessity to show your face and with your logo and also with your voice, it is also a necessity to actually show your staff and also your, let's say, office location in a clear structure too. So now we can go to the article that I will be launching or publishing. You can tell me that why this says 400 and this says 800 because I couldn't launch it. Whenever I write it, it was like this. And we started somewhere here, as you see. Then it became like this, then it became like this, then it became like that, and it continued as doubling the traffic. You can check these graphics actually later too. As you see, it continued to rank higher for both of the websites. I didn't finish the article yet, probably I will be just publishing it. Most of the information that I mentioned in this video, they are already directly here, but you will be able to also see the, the uh, comparisons for Google Analytics data too. And these are stale data, which and they are stale because I don't have enough time to update it. And also I made my point clear. And also uh, since the data here, it serves a purpose. Uh, again, whenever I publish an actual like case study, none of, none of my case study projects has, has seen a harm from that. Uh, still it is better if it is stale uh, at least for communication with the client and my point here is that actually when you when you look at to do this uh, specific sections let's say a little bit you can see how the organic search metrics in this section actually change and you can also get the numbers uh, for this area you can see how the direct search actually increases i also actually uh, filtered in this section of uh, organic search increases brand search and how it increases also direct traffic and also brand search demand as well. Referral traffic in this case also it, it increased too, not for this case or this timeline, but in to as total it, it increased. A special social section is important here. Email, it is a little bit stale, I can tell, but from time to time by cooperating with the influencers, it's, it also increased too. And I will also show you some other sections to be able to explain, but I will suggest to stay uh, alive for the next sections of the video because in this article we have many uh, concrete examples for the things that I explained uh, theoretically. Sorry. <clears throat> and this is a three months comparison. You can see the increases for sessions or page views for this specific timeline as well. And again, you can see how the organic search increases actually its share and you can see other search engines too. If you are just taking traffic from Google, it wouldn't be smart too because search engines, they also check their, their or they compare their algorithms to the other ones because a search engine engineer can go to the Microsoft Bing to understand what kinds of an algorithm that actually they have. The bugging with, let's say, limited amount of data is an important skill for search engine engineers. Because maybe in the future I can show you something called language interpretation tool. The NLP models, even if it's too complicated, still by examining some certain types of salient scores between certain types of concepts or checking how the search the language model answers certain types of queries, you can directly actually understand the overall algorithm behind it. And here too, the search engines they check the results from each other as well. And if you are able to increase your rankings for all of them. It is also a hint for them to imagine that Microsoft Bing is able to find real knowledge domain experts before Google. It will be a problem for Google. That's why they have to check the other search engines results. And if you're able to rank higher for all of them, it means that you will definitely do something right. So in this case, from Bing to the DuckDuckGo to the Yahoo to the Baidu to Ecosia to the Yandex to Quant, we increase the traffic. Actually, Quant has less, but it is, let's say, a, a kind of a little bit exception in this case. And when we look at this part, you will realize that how the people that come directly uh, or let's say how the people that come via Google 
and then with the direct traffic also increases too here actually we doubled that number because this section as you say it says, it says yes and this is a universal analytics feature and this says direct session so basically the person came from google first and they came from actually directly but still the source goes to google because it was the first time that the person came uh, from google you can take these type of uh, things and the same thing also happens with microsoft bing as well so as you, as i say i didn't couldn't finish the article and here we have see a uh, later phase four months comparison and these is these there are 17 different uh, search engines here and you see the direct sessions for them as you see the yes you can see how directly people also return to the website after coming uh, from uh, organic search first it also explains again the author the signals in this case a little bit further or let's say eat or eeat like it's a good name you can i will suggest to check these comparisons to understand so when it comes to the technical seo for SaaS businesses so of course we implemented technical seo on this project too it's not just uh, the actually semantics as I, in terms of the holistic SEO, but when it comes to the technical SEO for the SaaS businesses, usually it is easier because SaaS businesses, they have really great developers. And in this case, let's say we have a clean uh, crawling pattern or the schema and scheme, and we also, uh, let's say, optimized all of the, um, I won't talk about the image optimization in this case, because if you check my YouTube channel again, in this holistic SEO tutorial, I explained many technical SEO implementations uh, a lot. You can check these, these sections. But let's say we have done many things in this area from image extensions to the AVIF, let's say, uh, image extensions, and also pixelizations of the images or URLs of the images, and many other things also are optimized, even for web accessibility or progress web applications, or uh, also, uh, in this case, the server op response time optimization too, and the response times are really, really good. Uh, as I can remember, maybe it was even 80 milliseconds or something. Or uh, some other things as well, but still we use Docusaurus on this website, so some things are, some things are not that much optimized too. When it comes to the reputation management and EEAT, I mentioned the social media many times, and we increase the social media existence a lot. And the Reddit, it is used heavily because if your audience in SaaS SEO and B2B SEO, you have to understand that where your actual audience is. And if your audience also goes to Reddit or somewhere else, you will need to appear in these areas and you will need to be linked from these areas because Google doesn't have to match users to the documents via queries. They can also match users to the documents via social media. In this case, they can actually rank social media platforms for certain types of top topics. And in these documents, you have to be mentioned via hashtags or via your account or via users. And reviews on social media too, it is part, a huge part of the web. That's why search engine or especially Google can't ignore that part too. In the patterns, many times I have shown you examples uh, for EAT and authority uh, or brand building and its connection to the actually social media platforms and how many times Google even tried to create a social media platform and they failed. And in this case, local SEO section two, I explained these things as you see by telling that uh, actually using a, a, let's say consistent name and using Google business profile or Google, uh, the old name, I guess, Google my business profile, and using these profiles to actually create a local relevance and also registering your business to the Google's own knowledge graph. And by, te by telling Google that actually this is a legit business in this case, you are directly giving and being reviewed opportunity. You are telling for how many years you are inside the business. You put your images. You also put your products and also consistently for information points on the web. You consistently also repeat the same information there. That's why here we mention NAP. We also mention Yelp, Foursquare, or other types of places. And your Google Business Profile category should be matching your overall topic. If you are telling that you're a climate factory on your GBP, but you're a network security company, it's really a huge identity issue and uh, entity reputation issue too. And this section, uh, I, have, I have even put, by the way, GBP, uh, GBP uh, analytics through this article. You can also check that as well. And these are some of the articles uh, for landing pages. This is the overall view of the GPP profile. As you see, there is a product here. 
I also suggest you to use these question and answer parts. All the social media profiles are registered here. There are some certain types of reviews, but exceed 10 reviews at least. The, the client didn't list them that much on this part because as I say, we don't have enough level of workforce there. And we registered the website into the different places like Crunchbase, let's say, or LinkedIn, at let's, at, let's say, and we repeat the same information as you see. And this is another one. Again, repeat the same information with even more detail. And at the same time, as you check the, about the source panel, we repeat all these golden is here, for instance, and some others are also here too. And here we also have this part, but still we don't have a good reference site according to the Google and we should understand what a reference site is and what a good reference site is and how we can actually fix that part. Another issue here is that actually our brand name. So this part is important and you need to get it maybe one day or I will publish actually an exact mesh domain uh, case study that I can explain these things better too. But basically, when we talk about the brand name, when I write Sunny Valley directly, as you see, it suggests Sunny Valley, which is correct. As you see, our brand name has been written in this way. Yes, I am one of the reviewers. But one of the issues here is that we have our LinkedIn, Twitter, but also we have these, Sunny Valley Smoked Meats Inc. <laughs> In this case here, we have a unified Sunny Valley, merged Sunny Valley here. So it is an issue or brand identity issue here. And when I click to the crunch base and I, when I come back, we see people also search for section, which means that I didn't like this result. That's why they are not sure. So they give three different sections here. One is Sunny Valley bacon. The other one is Sunny Valley smoked meats. These are for this one. And then actually this brings us back to the Facebook. In previous B2B SEO video, I explained what are list, list wise, pair wise, and also point wise relevance algorithms. If one of the pages is similar to another page, they will be actually telling search engine that these type of pages categories are matched to the query context. In this case, they, we will see these type of pages more and user behaviors and overall repetitiveness of the documents and the query, other query for variations at the and the attribute payers inside documents and the queries they will be creating which page group should be ranked in this area and this is connected to this here because this is an information point and this is the query these queries and their categories are matching this one as you see this is how we use the patterns and in this case again we have ourselves with a review that's why using the third party reviews and in a consistent way is important too when it comes to zen armor what zen armor is do you think it is the product so our brand has been searched our product has been searched too i can publish maybe one one site migration case study in the future because this project here it will be migrated to another place and it might be a really good case study to show you how actually properly by communicating the search engine understanding the search engine we can actually migrate domains from one domain to another without creating any risk for misunderstandings because there are many things about brand names maybe site migration video and also exact mesh domain uh, case study video these two things connectedly can explain this uh, these contexts and as i say in the future probably when i talk about the same things i won't dive in this much detail i will just tell that watch this video and these are the things or in that way it will go because we will have many other case studies probably so when I search for Sunny Valley, in, in this case, we have our brand name and we have site wide links. Then we have our LinkedIn. Then we have Sunny Valley Kello Mountain Lodge. Sunny Valley, Sunny Valley, London Red. Because right now I am searching from actually a different location. Then according to that, we even have, I am searching from Turkey here. And we even have Sunny Valley and Turkish Jockey Club. And it is in a different context. Then we have Sunny Valley Chinese.com. Then we also have Sunday Valley Oregon Wikipedia. So as you see, your brand name around that query, there are many different contexts as I have shown in this, this section or as I have shown in one of these category profile section and the search engine needs to focus on all of them according to local relevance things change because we are in the US. But even if my query is English, still they get that this is the main context. That's <clears throat> and in terms of, let's say, entity recognition and entity oriented search we get linkedin account again here but then we also get other irrelevant things from jockey clubs to the sunny valley lodge from london or the sunny valley keto mountain lodge then we get sunny valley oregon and probably it might be relevant to this one might be relevant to this one as well so there are different connections there and i will suggest you to 
dominate your brand serve as much as possible and we should be mentioning jason barnard here again so in the auto completions again we say bacon login smoke bits networks which are smoke meets salt or ca and smoke bait turkey drumsting zen armor our products sunny valley location then we also see these other locations for that so this is a, actually this is what we call information foraging and in this case the search engine tries to calculate the possibilities and if you are not able to actually dominate this section it's not that much good so to be able to dominate this area you will need to increase your overall popularity more and you will need to create more documents from different contexts for your specific the new attributes one of them might be your founder for instance this company's owner still they didn't give enough level of interviews which is an issue and these are the search demands sunny valley hams meats turkey black forest ham smoked turkey legs spiral hum bacon bacon blah blah so query variations are way much more than networks if people just search for sunny valley networks 90 times and many many times more or different variations of the other context is an issue you will need to create other types of queries and it's possible by actually creating third-party reviews as i say even if it is not searched if you're able to create query candidates if these candidates are scored higher and if these candidates are relevant to the, your this query context still they will be counted too and it will be affecting this section as well or this section too and here this is just uh, the locations united states is under our control italy united kingdom and india india is on our control too but it means that you will need to focus on these two especially as well and these are the devices in this case usually people search in mobile but in our situation usually they come from desktop and mobile nearly equally let's say in this case you want to focus on both of them and to be able to do that uh, you will need to create different types of reviews or you can create an active youtube channel and you can bring youtube there easily and you can create even a youtube carousel video dominate that area even further it will also affect how these queries will be actually evaluated these are the regions and region map and again we see reddit twitter linkedin and other sections from a different timeline and how they are very much more active in this case and they are bringing traffic too and here you can see the crawl stats in terms of the technical so you see that the 200 status cost is really high and unfortunately javascript crawl is really high too but it should be lower put html top when it comes to bio file type and when it comes to the external link sources in this area or external the most link areas it's not perfect to put your home page to top and also then try to put your most important categories and products so in terms of internal links and external links it's not that much perfect in this case and these are the core web vital scores even the mobile in this case is not perfect after a point let's say we lost that part and here i have put maybe another website here yeah this is a different website that actually enjazip.com that i manage but uh, I can tell that lately the the authors they don't listen that much to briefs so we will see how it goes and here we have the desktop section uh, and I would also look I would like to read these headings too how do brand serve and knowledge panel management help for SaaS SEO if when it comes to the knowledge panel yes you should also establish a knowledge panel there that's why I will suggest you to try to open a Wikipedia page yourself or try to create a really good amount of information about you even go for New York Times don't uh, hesitate it will pay for itself believe me eventually it will be paying for itself when it comes to top linking text this one this document or imp anchor text not good at all and when it comes to the taxonomy we talk about these generating categories for queries and also creating a taxonomy there here we also have sensei which is another name for actually sunny valley then the sensei became a name for zen armor to create consistent name taxonomies there okay it's also important too and as you see the pages uh, section is actually mostly clear and how does page rank help for SaaS SEO it helps a lot page rank is like money when it comes to SEO and uh, I can tell that if you have page rank you will be crawled more and you will be indexed faster and the search engine will be more tolerant for your errors they will be assigning more authority and the more let's say trust uh, for trust degree for your business or your uh, specific let's say a brand and if you're able to distribute and sculpt this page rank inside your website in a proper way too you will be able to rank higher too and you'll be able to actually redirect crawlers in a contextual way and in, in a proper contextual path of crawling as well these are unique visitors and the visit section you see that reddit is the most ranking place because 
Reddit is also the linking place uh, mostly for our competitors. It means that we will need to be linked more from Reddit and we are doing it naturally because we are answering questions and then users started to suggest us and compare us to the others. That's why you see OpenSense and some others in this area. And here I say for specific industries and business areas, Reddit is a good source of convergence, branding and base for Barnacle SEO. This is not a parasite SEO, I will not call it. And Barnacle SEO in, in this case will be better because we put ourselves many places, not just for ranking purposes or affiliate purposes. We do these things for changing the identity of the business and being more associated for that specific audience. So it's not the target of the Parasite SEO. Usually I can tell that more direct and shallow, simple thinking mindsets uh, assume that these things, are, these two things are same. Anyway, so these are the problems there and they should be actually in this case, at the same time, I actually try to keep my laptop open, sorry. And exact match domains help for SEO. Yes, they help. You can use them, but I will explain these things in another case study. But try to involve at least one really good predicate or noun from your industry in your brand name. Like Sunny Valley Networks. Network there is important. And when it comes to domain name too, try to make your domain name and also brand name same, but it's not an obligation because with the thanks, thanks to the website update uh, or the system of the Google, we are able to actually use alternate names or different names as it also mentioned in this organizational schema markup. There is an alternate name there. There is also progress web application section, which is also which also involves short name there. So is your short name, alternate name from your about us page, from your domain name, or from other review places etc we can use actually these things to create further relevance because if your brand name directly signals also relevance to a section it will be really easier to as i say even the titles or the words repeated in the title matters i explained these inside one of these patterns too so use these things as well and top internal link pages too not correctly handled it should be different uh, but still it's being optimized let's say and I also suggest every SaaS business to create tools. If you're, let's say you are an email marketing brand, create an SMTP testing tool. Let's say you are uh, a network security tool, create an IP address checker. If you are able to create these tools and keep users coming back for yourself, and if you are able to make these places linked, you can distribute these authority further into the other parts of your website by linking them internally. And this is actually a section that you see here some of them are like that, like site classification here is actually a tool. And do exact match domains work for subdomains for websites? Yes. And why it works? I explain these things here. As I say, videos are just a summary of what I said in the article. Uh, even if I don't put that much patterns in this area, I would like to put them here. Maybe in the future, we can create certain types of education videos uh, for our community in the future. These are the metrics from Bing. Also check them. And these are other metrics for other websites, which is Juke SMS. You can also see them. One more thing is that for SaaS businesses, try to have a form or help section. You, you, if you, you can put these help sections to the actually subdomain so that main domain shall not be affected from team content or repeating content that much. But at the same time, if you're able to take your audience from Reddit and move them back to the, your help or form section, it will be very much easier as Cloudflare does. Then actually your subdomains also can rank for your brand name and your help domains quality and user retention will also affect your main domain in a positive way as well. And this is the subdomain and subdomain should be linking your main domain way much more and there should be a connection between these two. And this section also involves uh, that we also handled that as well. And should SaaS websites have a social media group on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit? Yes, from subreddits to the Twitter communities even, or hashtags, or from Facebook communities, go for that. There are Facebook groups that actually talk about your product or pro your competitors. Go there, put your product, and create reviews or interviews with your influencers, because we also use influencer marketing here, as I say. And these, some of these things are influencers that actually review the product to increase actually uh, the search demand there. And this is the, let's say the YouTube channel and it should be actually activated uh, very much before. And you create playlists for your brand and also create how to use these or create some general, uh, let's say suggestions or metrics or guides there, it will be useful too. 
And overall, these sections here, uh, these are for against and Valle for different metrics. As I say, some of these are old sections or old metrics, but we also have Juke SMS in this area too. And these are, let's say, technical design related improvements for SAS as your case study sample. And these are some of the improvements that we have done, like optimizing robots TXT, or let's say creating a topical map, or cleaning internal redirects, or let's say fixing duplicate metadata exceptions, or let's say removing mixed content links. When I, when I say mixed content link, I don't mean the HTTP links, I mean actually contextless links. Or there should be an order inside your document when it comes to internal links, you can't link randomly the first link in the main content it matters to state the context or so use these uh, wisely and fixing href links it was also one of the sections or again robust tx the fixing or different verticals even from ux to the social media optimization to the conversion rate optimization all these things actually ha have been handled together with the team and uh, again, these are the top ranking resources after a point. Open sense section is important because if you have, if you are a SaaS business, you can use your competitor's forms, take attention yourself. And this is one of the examples there. And these are, let's say device metrics. And as you see for, from sitemap point of view, the pages report is really, really cleaner as well. And these are the, let's say, uh, affinities for our audience like technology technology is home uh, do it yourself lifestyle etc but the google analytics affinities they are pretty old so you remember also the categories that i have shown you i believe and these affinities actually are helpful because technologies and technologies you can use these things for your backlink sections you can even ask uh, your backlink source to give them to their own definities in analytics if they are matching it's better or you can use also NLP to see whether they overall they are matching or not. And conversion funnels, we also define these, but I will come them later because I didn't explain this part in B2B section 2. I mentioned the initial ranking and the re-ranking section 2, as you see. You can also uh, use this specific, that's specific actually, how does Google rank uh, case study here. I believe I have created a video for that. No, I didn't. Actually, I can create a video in the future or explaining these concepts too, it will be really useful for people uh, to get these things. But let's say there are metrics that search engines use, like next query prediction, next click prediction, next click timing, or query per second, query per session, or let's say clickless query session count, etc. Or again, the search, search context and some other things too. This is Juke SMS. Actually, it was higher, but as you see, the, the SEMrush or other tools, they change these things. This was Ahrefs. Again, I have published some of these things in Twitter from time to time. You can check. These are some of the increases, but how can I tell that 18 or 19,000 percentage we increase the traffic? It, it doesn't have a meaning, but you can see how the low budget project is. I will suggest to pay attention here because in some of my SEO case studies, I defined this as the shadow source shadowing this section explains it too basically during the core algorithm update the website actually hit to the 100,000 or 120,000 of impressions a day directly and at the same time uh, we couldn't rank further because during the core algorithm update suddenly the source has been prioritized then it has been shadowed by another source which means that you will need to wait longer until you get your chance again. So core algorithm updates, they are pretty uh, ruthless. And in 2020, in a webinar, I told that you can use core algorithm updates as an SEO strategy. Choose a date for five months, prepare yourself, and then watch the increase. The core algorithm updates are the easiest way to beat your main competitors. So do not focus on week to week, week from week to week changes. Focus on core updates and main algorithms that you need to con convince to take the traffic maybe i can't uh, actually it was the first video that mentions core updates as an seo strategy maybe i can even translate it uh, to the english and I, I can publish it again so this explains that but the same chance didn't come back because we couldn't give same level of information but it continued to increase its traffic as you see these are some comparisons and same increases same methodology or same metrics in this area you can also see them but technical SEO part here is really bad, as you see, uh, because the owner of the company, he's a really good guy. 
but he has many other businesses at the same time as you see uh, there is not much data here uh, but still there are some other sections see captera getup software advice g2 or linkedin or caspera many review websites review it they are also here captera caspera g2 but we also have our own section but there is no good reference site again and top link pages this is a little bit better but not good that much again and you can check these things there is also disavo yeah for SaaS businesses try to use disavo files because uh, you, since the developers are good sometimes they use other things uh, in that part and at the same time i can tell that for this section actually i explain let's say related sources for juke sms also use the related search operator to see where you are related because you will see that these related sources they are behaving same for same certain types of updates you can use these things how the search engine actually perceive you and how they classify you usually it also happens because of topical relevance or link relevance if your link profiles are similar or your website type is same even if your industry is different still you will be actually evaluated together and if you are related it's normal to be uh, processed together in this case and check these websites too and try to relate yourself in the link graph and also let's say inside topic in, in terms of topical relevance too with your own industry and the seed sources with the best ones and these are some of the let's say sources and most of them are not actually that much about sms some of them are about sms marketing like sms juice or broadnet or some others but as you see they don't have that much traffic but some of them have like text local but in this case you should understand that to be able to beat these type of resources in core updates as i have shown in this graphic the firefox you should have a better and faster scrolling so here as you see to be able to beat the sources that i have shown in that area in the bottom part you will need to beat the sources that i have shown especially in this specific uh, section if you are able to beat this this website by taking their sitemap and urls and if you're able to create a better topical map and semantic content network than that they have they have it will be very much easier for you to actually go beyond that and if you check their related websites too so taking related website is something but taking related websites that are related to them and checking them and how they perform too it will be better as you see text marketing sms marketing mass texting app mobile mix cheap mass text messaging so this is these are all these websites are your competitor take all of their urls take all of their mistakes topical gaps exploit them and crush all of them of course you will need good authors then take these sources you should check these keywords these traffics and you should go for that probably i need to create another video for it right this right because 90 minutes already passed and yeah i am trying to usually create the best uh, tutorial videos even if 10 years later these things will be helping for you to business or analyzing algorithms or again for the organic search or if someone wants to learn one day how these web search engines work again they can use all these videos that's why i call these things also pre-training for the course but my point here is that before the course launch i need to publish and explain all these things so that your pre-training pre -training can be better and here remember this focus on people first content as i say focus on your audience if they are on reddit go to reddit be linked from reddit when it comes to this primary purpose of or focus of the website it is something that i call a source context again a con concept that i actually uh, invented i didn't write these sections yet we also implemented content pruning a lot we deleted many content we merged a lot of content maybe i can put them and ranking signal consolidation is also something important but i already have written a case study to explain it with the jet octopus and you should check this case study too if you want it will be useful maybe i can put another video for that too and uh, this is another project actually we managed in terms of technical seo2 i didn't write it that much but the website was ranking lower, but thanks to some of these technical SEO tasks, it actually ranked higher. But I can tell that actually uh, it, it wasn't a good taste due to the owner of the project. And when it comes to the here, we explain actually uh, according to what actually should drop a project or accept a project. And you should match your culture uh, with the client. And with that said, I will be publishing this article. Probably I will be completing it before publishing. Maybe I can change this image. 
do and I believe it will be helping to you uh, a lot with these patents, inventions, researches, research papers, concrete results, examples with low budget uh, projects with really uh, small teams with lack of workforce. Still you can actually create great results and help the small businesses and share the information and after I launch my semantic SEO course we will be a community and probably I will be chunking these videos and I will publishing them again or I will refilm again uh, for explaining some different things uh, like that related search operator and taking the first sources that you should be beating and then it can help you further of course first we will be conceptualizing these things in a better way too so I am really uh, proud of you if you watch me until uh, this moment thank you for that and the future especially 2023 it will be great don't worry if i publish this video before in 2022 probably you are already in a vacation you celebrate your new year but i am working so it's uh, it's how i choose to live it's my own choice but thank you for everything it means a lot to me and namaste